Luck obviously plays a strong role in the casino industry for obvious reasons. Um, and it's fairly intuitive that if you have a bad experience, if you come in, you roll the dice once and you lose all your money, that you're not gonna be happy and you're not gonna come back. The, and, and so we've known that and we've done things historically to action that. So if you lose in a single trip faster, significantly faster than you should, you'll often have someone approach you on the casino floor and offer to buy you dinner, offer to get you tickets to the Celine Dion show or, or whatever it is, just to make your experience uh, last longer so that you feel like you got more value from it. So if any of us lose, the thing to do is to shout, oh man, it's my first time in Vegas and I've lost. <laughs> right. and then, on the contrary, they but know you, you, you have to time. see it in the data, exactly. So you, you can't do that, because this is all triggered off of the data that we see in the slot machines at the table. So you need the, the slot machine to yell for you. But what we noticed in the data was that small losses, losses that we thought, frankly, were not readily visible to customers, um, but over right. a longer period of time. Of so not one trip, but 10 trips. If you see someone who is, and we've got ways of quantifying luck, but 10% unlucky, so not significantly unlucky, over a sustained number of trips, that those people are actually significantly more likely to defect to one of my um, competitors than uh -huh. they are to stay with me. And so you can start to action that, you can start to message it, but the thing you don't want to do is call up and say, hey buddy, I see you've been unlucky, come on back. Right, so we have to think, um, I'll, you have to think carefully about how you actually then intervene.